This paper is really weird. It's basically plastic. My name is Seneca, this is my channel, and this is my current sketchbook. I feel like no one's talking about what the sketchbook is actually like to draw in. So I thought I'd show you guys what my experience has been so far. So this is the render sketchbook. Uh, it advertises mostly towards being the perfect paper for alcohol marker because it doesn't bleed through. That is the only thing that I've seen people talking about, which is true. Any video you watch on this sketchbook, you will see that the alcohol marker never bleeds through. But what I haven't seen people talking about is a lot of other stuff that I think is really important to know. So I think the best way to do this is just to start flipping through the pages and let you guys see for yourselves, along with being a partial sketchbook tour. Very nice black paper on the inside. And this is not the same type of paper. This is just for the lining. So here's where I started testing out some alcohol markers. They did not bleed through. So I did a picture um, of a burning house. Great start. This is all alcohol marker and some fine liners slash ink pens. There's some gel pen too. Uh, this yellowing is not because of the paper. It's just this brand of crappy alcohol marker. It likes to bleed onto other pages. So that is not the book's fault. But I noticed doing these pictures, if you layer a bunch of alcohol marker on top of each other, it starts to wipe away almost like a whiteboard effect. And you can probably see it in here too. Some of the color has been smudged. And it's sort of weird because uh, when you're coloring, you have a few seconds before it's actually dry. So I use that to uh, do sort of different techniques while drawing. I would wipe it and smudge it before it actually dried. It really depends on how you use this sketchbook. It's not typically how you use alcohol markers, but it can be fun. And you can also see how it's shiny in places. I don't know if that's just because of the markers that I used or because of the paper. I don't know. Uh, they are pretty smooth on this paper though, because there's like no tooth at all. Drawing on this paper is basically like drawing on plastic, which has its downsides too. It all depends. So with this, I did a lot of ink pen and I only later realized that if you do ink pen or basically any sort of fine liner black pen, it can still smudge after days and weeks and months. I did this in November of 2020. It's still smudging. It, it's a mess. Uh, so that's, that's something that you really need to keep in mind. The alcohol marker does not smudge once it's dried, but any sort of fine liner or black pen, it can smudge. So this I just used more alcohol marker, lots of pen, it can smudge. It's fine for a sketchbook, I guess, because the main purpose of a sketchbook is just to sketch. I mean, unless you don't use sketchbooks for just random drawings and you want to do finished pictures in them. And I'm kind of like that. It's just, you can't put too much work into the picture and then be sad when it smudges because it will. A one good thing is that sticky notes and tape, washi tape, all stick well to this paper. I like to tape things into my sketchbook. Here's some more, more alcohol markers. This, I use the smudging technique a lot because I kind of wanted a gradient. Like you can see how sometimes it, it looks kind of grainy. It looks grainy because I put a light alcohol marker on top of the dark one, so it kind of lifted up a little bit, which is something to keep in mind again. It's not perfectly smooth. It's a little streaky, but that could also, that could also be the marker's fault and not the pages. Here's a great example of what these horrible markers do. So that is not the paper's fault. That's just the marker's fault. Just so you know. So uh, this is all ballpoint pen. Like if you can wipe it off because it's just sitting on top of the page. Like I can 
mess with it as if it's like graphite. I did this with color pencil and the color pencil is fine, but the ink pen is not fine. Uh, I messed up on the nose here, so I tried to put Posco pen on top of the black ink and all it did was lift up the ink. So um, Jelly Roll has been fine, that's what this is, but Posca paint pen, it, it lifts up the ink really bad. Crayola works fine, but because it's water-based, it does start to rip up the page. Paper Mate is what uh, this was, and that does not smudge. And then there's some more ballpoint pen and other ink pen. Gel pens do dry, but you can still move them around because they're gunky and they just sit on top of the page like they do everything. These sort of fine liner slash felt tip pens are fine. They, I haven't seen them smudge and they do dry. It's just I wouldn't be coloring with them because they're not meant for that. And, and they will rip up your paper. Like if I start drawing something, you can see that it's ripping it up and it's not working well. So you can't draw with these. You can write with them and do, do smaller things. They work fine for that, just not coloring. Alcohol marker seems to be fine. It does dry. It doesn't go through the page. You have a few seconds before it fully dries. Whereas on other paper, it dries faster. Um, on this paper, you can smudge it around before it completely dries. But the problem is that it does sit on top, so you get a whiteboard effect if you layer it too much. So you gotta be careful with that. Professional liners like Micron, they feel very smooth on the paper, but they don't completely dry. It doesn't matter how long it takes, you will not get them to dry. They will always smudge. Same with these sort of pens, same kind of ink pens. Even though these are just writing pens, they do still smudge. With white inks, it depends on what type of ink it is. With jelly rolls, everything works just fine. It doesn't lift anything up unless it's probably over ink that hasn't dried, but that's normal for jelly rolls. Posca pens work fine, but you can't really go over ink because it just lifts it up instead of um, actually covering anything because everything is just sitting on top of the page. I will not be using any sort of water-based thing on this paper because I know it's gonna instantly rip it up. Just because felt tip pens and Crayola pens rip it up easily. So I'm pretty much just gonna be using things like these gel pens, uh, maybe some felt tip pens, and alcohol markers. But I'm not really gonna be using anything else because everything else smudges or does something weird with the page. So I hope you find this video very helpful. It would be great if you could share, like, comment, subscribe. There'll definitely be some more content of this book and other art projects along with other things that I'm doing, such as sewing, baking, and other hobbies. So stay tuned! If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to reply and see if I can help you out. Check out my Instagram for more art things and hints to upcoming videos. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching!